welcome back to the channel and in this video I'll be talking about enchants and everything we need to know about them. There's a lot to go through like gems, enchants, mostly tier 1 enchants, tier 2 enchants and tier 3 enchants. That's how they work. So let us begin. In the Darkseid update they've been added two new tiers to enchants and a lot of new gems as well as there has been a lot of a lot of rebalancing or balancing the way you put it a lot of armors have been nerfed for example sunken set sonic set and uh, argus set they all have minus 10 percent defense on them so they've been nerfed by that and let's check it out so as of right now there are three new tier two new tiers and these are, these are all of them. So, these, these scrolls right here, these are tier 1 enchantment scrolls. They give either 18 from substat scrolls, which are these. So, we have Amplified, we have Sturdy, we have uh, Nimble, and we have Swift. They give 18 each stat. Or, we have Strong, which gives 6 now. If you look at here, you see here it gives six, six power, very strong sunken iron boots. And we have 54 from hard. Before, hard used to give like 70 something or 80 or 70, 60 or 70, I can't remember. But now, hard gives 54. Next up, we have tier 2 enchantment scrolls. Tier 2 enchantment scrolls give double of tier 1 enchantment scrolls and that goes for everything so if you see here we have agile it increases the enchantment increasing movement speed greatly that, that will give you double the amount of 18 agility so you get 36 agility same goes for Attack speed. Uh, sorry, attack speed. Attack speed is a brisk, but I don't, I don't have it here. We have enhanced. That's for it. intensity. Two intensity. Intensity. Then we have explosive. That's 36 size. We have 36 intensity. And I don't have the armored scroll, but that also that will give 108 defense. And powerful will give 12 power. And, if, and basically again, so substat it will give 36, defense will give 104, and powerful it will give 12. But then we also have other things like hybrid scrolls, which is this, charged. Charged will give power and intensity. This is still tier 2. Tier 2 scrolls are like this. So it will give power and intensity, and so I think one of them as well here, hasty. Hasty will give attack speed and agility. So, there are some of them have hybrid stats, which is really interesting. And that's for tier 2 scrolls. Then we have tier 3 scrolls, which is this one, Ardent. Ardent is only applicable on weapons. Same, go for, same goes for dense. It's only applicable on weapons and shields, but that counts as a weapon. They increase one stat greatly, but also decrease one stat greatly as well and i as of currently already have all the three scrolls for attack size i mean like a tier three scroll so i have tempered tempered increases damage for reducing of size which is honestly that's the best scroll there is on this or you can also use dense which it greatly increases the size but also reduces its speed which i have on the scimitars and we have Ardent, which greatly increases the speed, but decreases the damage by a bit, which is I have I have it on these two things. And tier three scrolls can only be used in weapons, so they may they don't have that much value actually. Even though they're rarer than tier two scrolls, they actually have less value as they they're like less usable because they're only used on weapons but once you have all the weapons they're basically useless it's the arm it's the tier 2 scroll that you want that you want to put on all of your uh, armor sets another one um tier 2 scrolls there's something called virtuous virtuous gives one warding and 54 defense if you can see it here 
on this one i have 54 defense and two warning one warning is from the enchant and 54 defense is from the enchant as well this thing only gives one warding and 18 attack speed the thergus cloak and that's all for enchants and like everything new about it and then we have something else which is jewels jewels they've been rebalanced as well and they've been really balanced by a lot so as of right now power jewels give the same as before they give three power like normal like the normal jewels right now i'll go on to the hybrid ones in a bit power jewels right now they give three power a substat jewel like attack size attack speed agility or intensity i keep forgetting or your intensity it will now give nine okay it's been buffed from six from last update to nine here so th that's 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 good that's really cool but there's more then we have a power amulet i mean power jewels which give three each i don't have any equip right now but uh they can they give three each and this weirdly enough uh def i th think defense jewels are actually nerfed but there's a bug so here on uh, that uh where is it yeah so here i have a perfect energy diamond it is giving me 28 defense but then if you look at this amethyst it gives me 31 defense i believe i believe that amethyst is actually a bit uh it's, it hasn't been changed yet like it's bugged it hasn't been changed yet to 28 defense the nerf hasn't been applied on it so i think that's why it has 31 defense because if you look at the new agate gem gems they give 28 and 9 that's attack size so i think defense jewels are supposed to give 28 so that's what the stats are for normal jewels hybrid jewels is where it gets interesting because hybrid jewels are basically the exact same as normal jewels just two of them combined to one so it's literally just overall it's just better what i mean by that if you look at the agate gems again it gives 28 defense and nine size that is the exact same as one attack size jewel and one defense jewels literally combined that is literally how it works so the new jewels agate gels jewels or morenchi morenchi gives attacks i mean agility and power we have larimar we give intensity and attack speed or kyanite we give agility and intensity there's so many so they are hybrid jewels and basically they give you both uh they give you hybrid stats and they're just literally just better also i just realized that i i can put hold on i can put the fishies inside here i think let's go <laughs> it's a little great white shark i'll put this boy here Oh my god, that's so cool. I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. Okay, anyway, anyway, back back to schedule. So, yeah. That's what we'll see from in-game. Let's go to a website that I've been a, a bit, a, helping a little, a, a little out with. And it's made by Bobby Newbie. You guys know him. Before we do that, I want to say something. Basically defense like defense is the only one that is weird right now like the stats basically all jewels and enchants are now linearly scaled double and double basically what i mean by that is one jewel is equal to half of a tier one enchant now and one tier one enchant is equal to half of a tier two enchant or two jewels are equal to one tier one enchant so three power jewels like two times power like the whatever power jewel so each power jewel gives three that will be six that is equal to a tier one enchant which gives six and four power jewels or two tier one enchants is equal to one tier two powerful scroll that's for power but that formula so like four gems equals to one tier two and two two tier ones equal to one tier two 
or two tier i mean two gems equal two gems equal to one tier one that applies for every other stat as well except defense because defense one one hard scroll is equal to 54 and two defense jewels are actually equal to 56 so defense jewels have two more defense i mean gives they give two more defense than one hard scroll this may be a bug i mean maybe it's not balanced like yet or it's like been rounded up wrongly i don't know but this is how it works right now and yeah so basically it's everything is linearly scaled and it's very efficient and you're better off also you're just better off using hard like hybrid scrolls or hybrid hybrid jewels because you just get double the stats you basically get two jewels in one jewel slot this it's insane that, that's that's just insane okay back to the scheduled video so we're in bobby newbie's new gear building setup and it's it's pretty cool i've been helping him uh figure out all the things we're still working on how atlantean works so be sure to look out for that but if you want to use if you want to make bills use this it's awesome i've been testing it out yesterday and i've found the perfect build for me so yeah here you're able to basically like you'll see all the scrolls and you'll be you can clearly see basically exactly what they give they don't um the scrolls themselves uh they basically how they work is they calculate it via like you know like the, the, the amount they give so they, they, you can't really see how much they give exactly but you can however see what exactly the new items give as well as these items so let's just say uh we have a full theogus set on these you can put three jewels and here we have all of the new gems so we have a gate which gives 31 defense nine attack size this is currently a bit wrong because again we were confused by it so it'll actually gives it gives it actually gives 28 defense by the way then we have the other one, the other hybrid one, which is Candelaria, which is 3 power, 9 attack speed. We have 9 agility and 9 in and intensity from Kyanite. 9 agility and 9 attack speed. 9, nine attack speed and 9 intensity. Uh, don't mind this. He likes, Bobby likes to meme a lot. We have 3 power and attack size. We have 3 power and agility. And we have 125 defense and 1 drawback. And we have 9 agility and 9 attack size. And another known thing about drawback, drawback scales like this. Actually, I'll make own. I'll make another video on it because it actually kind of needs its own video because it's it is actually a bit complicated. But just for a simplified reason, one drawback equals to three percent of your HP taken every time you get hurt. So there's a bit more other stuff like I need to explain, but. That's that's basically the base, the most basic way to put it. So one drawback equals to three percent of your HP taken every time you use a skill. So let's say we put uh, defense or no, uh, let's put Morenci on the, all of this because that's balanced complete. Like this is the balanced one. We can put that there. There's also sound effects like from the in-game sound effect is really cool. And then let's put virtuous on these. And as you can see, we got nine warding. And that's the highest that you, can, that you can actually get. Then we have 36 power, which is from all of the Morinchi. Then we have 472 defense, which is actually from all of... We got from... Is that from the Cernix amulet and all of the Virtuous uh, enchants, because they give 54 defense. And we have 108 agility and 108 attack speed, because of yeah, the attack speed from the Thurgish... Uh, pieces even the sonic amulet as well as 108 agility from all of the morenchi and yeah so this thing we you can use it to make builds really easily so uh, that's 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 what i explained it i hope you guys can understand and have you guys got what you wanted i'll be explaining atlantean afterwards like in a different video because i'm still doing some testing on it i've gotten the atlantean essence that i needed um, if you do want to send more, if you do want to trade for more, uh, you can send me trades on Discord. My thing is RC Plays, or you can also do it on the Basing Discord, like Basing Pirates Discord. It's in the description down below. And yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one I guess and